Hi, welcome to the House Nameplate Company's guide to fitting your slate nameplate to your lodge. For this, you will need a spirit level, a drill. Okay, I have a spirit level here. It's got, it's happening to be on a ruler. I've also got my drill with me. It's a 2.5 mil drill bit and a flat end screwdriver and also the fittings that come with it. If you've got a, a nameplate with four holes, obviously you'll have four fittings. These caps just unscrew and then there's the flat end there. Okay. Firstly, place your nameplate in the place where you want it. I think that one looks quite nice there. Okay, now you can go by, by eye if your lodge has got these lines on it or you could always use the spare at level. And that's level. Once you've got it in the place where you want it. Oh, I've moved that. One second, just double check. Okay, once you've got it where you want it, just mark through the holes, either with a Sharpie, a felt tip pen, or a pencil. Once your holes are marked on the wall, you need to drill them. Now, I'll get back to you once I've drilled them. What I've done is I've put the, uh, the drill bit quite far in the drill, because you don't really want to go that deep into the lodge or the plastic. So I'll just drill these for you. Right, I've drilled the pilot holes in. Now what I recommend that you do is, because you're drilling into the side of your, your lodge, you just put a little bit of silicon sealant. This is clear silicon sealant, just around the outside of the, the hole. And this is just to stop any water getting in, just in case. You don't need all that much because you don't want to you don't want too much and it makes a mess. Okay, get your first screw. A bit of a tip, put your screw first through first and then that way then you can line it up with a hole without actually pushing the nameplate against the wall and smudging the silicon sealant. Okay, I'll start that one off. I'll just screw these in for you and I'll get back to you. Right, so I'm just tightening the last screw. Last couple of turns. That's it. Okay, that's the last turn on that. You want to put them fairly tight, just so the silicon sealant at the back of the nameplate squeezes and gives a good seal. And just turn the caps on. It's two. And there you have it. Thank you. Super.